Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> wow. Deep. That's deep, Ifra. Wow. Very. Very. Do you know what was deep mm. today? Look how good of a segue <laughs> oh this was. God. Look how good of a segue this is. You know what was deep? Super Junior's new album. <laughs> You lost me. Can That's you, it. <laughs> can you believe I actually used to run a show? <laughs> yeah, with direction cards and a bunch of directors. Yeah. <laughs> the recent way they never let you riff. Hence why that, was, this is, hence this why, is the reason. Hence why that one was successful. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Ever. Well, yeah, yeah. Let, let's go Super on to... Super Junior. Uh, yeah, Super Junior. Super album. Junior Cries, new, new album. <sighs> I just, the only thing I have to say overall... Here it is. It's a, I believe that you're floating on clouds and watching the sunset go by. That's oh. what I feel like when I heard the whole of that album. That That's was nice. my my conclusion of it all. That's very nice. That just lets you know. It was just beautiful. Yeah, I sort of feel, you know that little sentence I just read? Yes. You know when you sort of like first grade and a uh, teacher asked you to do a... Uh, so Are you telling me so that my <laughs> thought analysis is first grade did, level? Did not feel like that? Though. <laughs> just like you know, teacher, Miss, Miss, Miss Martinez or something. I feel slightly offended by that. Goes, goes, he tells you, go home, write your feelings now. I feel I like I feel I'm, like I'm floating on clouds and <laughs> watching the sunset. Yeah. Deep. And it's because accidentally you had some of your parents' drugs. <laughs> wow. So my thought, my my music analysis is at the level of a first grader. That was high. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. It just Wonderful. Like. Thank you. <laughs> I do agree, though. It, it did feel very weightless. Like it felt like while you were listening to that type of music, because it's very ballady, very ballad. Uh, uh, yeah, that's their strength. Uh, it felt very like uh, yeah, you were weightless. There was nothing, nothing really mattered. You were just going through this journey of emotions. Yeah, it, nothing was hard work. Nothing felt like it yeah. was difficult or tedious yeah you, you know? forget you have bills to pay you forget reality let's get to song by song let's get song by song because uh you're you're stealing away my ideas okay so when we were us we watched that didn't yeah we? so you can go watch that i said beautiful we have seen it loved every moment of it I and said. If, if you haven't seen it is definitely on on our uh, on my channel if you want to go check it out so yeah i said when we were asked check our reaction oh Wow, yeah. Ephra, then deep. The second one was way to Busan. Busan, yeah. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Go on, way to Busan. That was the next ah. one. <laughs> I was like, Ephra, you're on, you're <laughs> one today. Jesus, you're so weird. Um, okay, so. <laughs> well, I just introduced you to the song, and you just stopped talking. Because so. I thought you were going to talk. No, no, sort of ladies first and all that ah, stuff. Ah, all right. Well, thank you. I was raised the right way. Um. <laughs> I on. said such a delicate track. Love the string section of it. It's super charming and romantic, kind of like dreamlike feel to it. It feels very human. Like the whole song, it felt very human. Like I, it, I know that sounds like redundant and like duh, yeah, but it's just very um, real. Mm. Um, the images that came to me were like sweet summer breeze, mellow, easy loving, and it gives me like sin banderas type of uh, style of music. Because you know, who if they you are. don't know who sin banderas are. Uh, are there is, is a duet ballad group that was early in the early 2000s in, in South America. Yeah. Um, they were super popular. They're not together anymore, but um, if, oh, really? if you should totally check them out. And they, they've got some beautiful harmonies, pretty similar um, uh, vocally melodic to, to what um, Super Junior was doing here. Yeah, I'd say if you like Cry and then you like uh, Spanish, you would probably enjoy a lot of uh, Sin Bandera stuff. Sin Banderas and For, oh, Camila. No. You would also enjoy um, 2006, Rake. Yeah, so I said I said when I wrote, I said that, uh, you said that Busan was like this, sort of like Brighton. Yeah, it's like this uh, romantic date destination, this destination. I think it's close to the shore. I think it's by the sea, but I'm not, I'm not very sure, I guess. Let me yeah, so I kept imagining Google that. It. Maybe if that's not the case, then I was imagining the wrong stuff. But I did say that it is genuine yeah, music. Yeah, it's by the coast. Oh, right, right. It, I just said it's genuine music. Like, it, it, 
when you think of music, right? Or when I think of music, I sort of fi- I sort of think of this type mm-hmm. of music. Yeah. Like I, you know, this is what music is. If I had to explain to this uh, person who's never a human, or you know, like an alien, this is what music. You know, we have this amazing thing on Earth that is called music, right? I would probably play what, like a song like this because it, it really exemplifies what like humanity is relationships emotions exactly feelings exactly what I what I uh, that's what I was trying to cap like, capture when I said it felt very human I with think your poem I think. N- no oh. when I said it was very human it kind of felt like it, it embodied every emotion and all the beautiful things of being human and in love yeah. represent you know it like really represents what this journey of being alive is you know i don't know then i agree the, then uh the way back to you uh that was uh i said happy that wasn't my favorite track of the of the album but songs like this must exist because they have a huge variety of instrumental ideas the the instrumentation of the composition yeah, those bloody good words mate <laughs> right was was really high level like the use of trumpets it's all felt like big band to some extent mixed with ballads mm-hmm. uh, and i and i you said it was new orleans sort of feel. yeah the beginning the begin- the intro no the intro was very new orleans bluesy um forward yeah. uh, kind of track so you said it makes me happy and uh, it gathers i think it's popping off as well to gather enough interest in non-fans to gather interesting songs like this to a subdivision of an actual group and uh, it it, it it's creates more fans. I said I couldn't agree more. I actually you're gonna see what I wrote. I said the trumpets and pianos give such a bluesy feel, but the drums uh, bring it back to a beautiful pop ballad. Yeah. Because the the when the drums came in, it kind of felt like it wouldn't fit with the blues idea that the the intro had at the beginning. Like the first few seconds of the song, it had a very blues forward especially with the trumpets you know blaring at you it, it, it kind of felt like wrong to an extent but it, it gave that uh pop ballad that, that you needed um i wanted to play in repeat because those happy vibes could make the sun come out on a rainy day because that song is literally it makes you happy doesn't it yeah. yeah it just makes it's such great vibes i said it's so great i love the whole musical composition and I just adore having that human touch in every instrument played in the whole album. Because it, it, throughout the whole album, you had that or- orchestra um, a musical arrangement, you know, on, on a constant bass. Yeah. It kind of gave that cushion, like that trampoline for the vocals to really just pop off. Mm. Um, it, it, it's a bit like, like uh, me coming from a musical th- a theater training background it kind of gives you that power ballad from a contemporary musical that you you know has so much force coming from everybody else from the orchestra that just gives you that oomph you know that second level for the vocals to be really supported i did say it feels like disney yeah <clears throat> you know it did feel like disney especially that one it felt like a movie m- the movie princess track. and the frog type thing yeah, yeah like that, a modern version of that it sort of yeah thing. i agree then it goes on into uh icon which is uh i said that's probably my favorite song of the album because it's it's really repeatable music i find that the more you listen to that song because we actually heard it twice the more you listen to that song the more details you find that you sort of fall in love with and uh, and given the fact that korea that knowing from your comments the fact that in korea the most popular genre is actually ballads i'd feel that i can't would be probably the most one of the most popular songs apart from when we were us uh from that album because it really does have that ballad feel and ballad charm well like i said earlier the musical arrangements are just so beautiful they have such a strong theatrical undertone yeah it's very theater isn't it yeah it it has a very strong uh, theatrical undertone that provides a wonderful background for the voices to just shine and and be the main character of the story yeah um it's just wonderful and and the emotional journey is so true and so palpable it 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 just felt yeah it is it's very there it's very real you know and um 
I just wonder where all of this um, emotion and, and inspiration to write the songs and they, who directed it, who was the musical director throughout the whole album because it's, it's such a beautiful masterpiece like um, in, in terms of, of directing music itself, mm. you know? Because the string sections come in, comes in just exactly at the ne at the moment that you needed it. The 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 trumpets just you know the, it's it's just very tastefully done. It's like somebody took the time out to think. Here's the original song that we played on a guitar or on a piano, and what can we do to make it more romantic to take you on a journey? You know, uh, so. It, I'm really curious to see what the process was to make this album because it's just beautiful. Like Sup people, right. if you're a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> Sup people, if you're watching this and you're a rapper or a beat producer. A singer, a ghostwriter, or even just somebody who likes new music. And this is for you. Feature Friday is the show where we make new music every week featuring your tracks, your raps, your lyrics, or yourself as an artist. There's no catch. This isn't one of those weird posts where you click on the website and you're trying to order airports and they say it's free and then you have to pay like a hundred thousand million dollars for uh, shipping. Uh, this is completely free. We understand how difficult it is in the music industry to get seen and there's so many amazing rappers and singers and beat producers out there. So this is just a place to showcase your skills. We showcase our skills, we make music every week, which we love doing anyways. We get to show new artists to new people and new people to new artists. So if you'd like to get featured next, message me here on Instagram or email me and we will get in touch pretty soon. Please do it fast because uh, a waiting list is forming and we don't want anyone waiting around. Keep scrolling, bye. See you Friday. Peace. Bye-bye.